to quite possibly the most exciting video I've been able to make in possibly my entire YouTube video journey. So let's take a seat and have a chat. But before I sit down, I know I say this in every video and I'll probably say it forever and ever and ever because I live in the UK, but it is very gloomy outside. The lighting isn't amazing. However, this gets me excited for my favorite time of year, which is fall. I love, love, love it. Got the candles lit, uh, got, got Beetlejuice on, had Hocus Pocus on before, as you would have seen, which is my all time favorite film ever. Uh, no jokes, have watched it about a thousand times since I was a little girl. It's cozy vibes, best time of the year, best video of the week, best time of my nursing career so far. So I'm gonna sit you down, we'll have a chat. Um, oh, these are the black pair to the blue ones that I showed in my other video, just in case you were wondering what the other ones look like. Let me just get comfortable. Okay, so as I'm sure you have guessed by the title, I have been dying to make this video for over about a week now since I got my email. My email was confirmation of my success of getting onto the Integrated Masters. <laughs> Cannot believe it, I still can't believe it now. Um, it's, it's just totally shocked me to be honest because the one I applied for only had four spaces and there were so many people that applied. I just can't tell you guys what it means to me, it's it's still not sunk in. <laughs> what does this mean? What is an integrated masters? What do I need to do from here? I haven't got any notes written down, so I'm just gonna roll with what I'm thinking in my head because it's just. <laughs> so an integrated masters is a little bit different to a normal masters. And I think you'll leave with 40 or 60 less points than a full masters, um, but you are still classed as having a masters. What an integrated masters is, is you will do your full degree. So mine was a BN with honors nursing degree, which was a three year program. And after those three years, you will have qualified at that level of BN with honors. If you do an integrated masters, you stay on just one extra year. And in that extra year, you actually study a second field of nursing. My second field option that I've chosen is mental health. So in that fourth year, you will focus on your second chosen field. This means that sadly, I will not be graduating with everyone that I started university with and I will not be able to graduate next year. This will not be my last year now of university study and I will then graduate the following year. So I'm not actually going to graduate until I'm 34 years old. <laughs> Integrated Masters is so much better and worth every second of that one extra year purely because not only will I have a master's as an adult nurse, which is what I'm studying at the moment, I will also have a master's as a mental health nurse. So I will be dual trained and I will be able to work as either an adult nurse or a mental health nurse and I will be at a master's level for both fields. This will massively help my career as a correctionals nurse slash prison nurse, whatever you want to call it. In the prison system, mental health nursing and adult nursing literally come hand in hand. They still have the two roles of nurses in the prison system. I just cannot even tell you how how happy I am and, and hard to say this out loud, but how proud I am of myself. Now, it is a hard thing to say, even though it shouldn't be, but I am proud of myself because there was only four spaces for the mental health nursing. The other options were adult nursing as the extra um, masters for the extra year, but obviously I'm already studying adults, so that's not for me. Disability nursing was another, I didn't fancy that. And there was the mental health nursing, and they usually have children's nursing as an option, but there wasn't an option there. And I think there was too many undergraduates studying children's nursing, I believe, which is why they didn't open up the mass, which is why they didn't open up the masters to children's nursing. And each speciality had a certain number of available applicant spots. 
and mental health was the one with the least amount because it was the most sought after and lots and lots of people applied and we had to go through an interview process i shared that on my instagram i had to have an interview and i had to maintain a certain percentage throughout my second year of nursing to be able to even be considered to go on to the masters and i had a very high average overall i think they were looking for i think it's a 40 or 50 percent average throughout your second year and i think i'm i was pushing like 70s 70s and 80s as, as just an average overall so i completely smashed that side of it hard work really does pay off i know i stress i'm doing the academic side of nursing and we've got assignments coming out of our ears levels get harder every year of the level of academic writing that we should be hitting a lot more meltdowns i suffer quite a lot of burnout because i have nursing burnout i have autistic burnout i have general life burnout so I do really struggle as an autistic person in general and as a busy mum to a child who has multiple disabilities herself I am a wife I say this all the time I am a wife I run the home just like many many others out there and I am autistic so to be able to even be considered to get on the masters I was just over the moon at that that I'd even hit that criteria never mind actually getting accepted on it so I am just completely on cloud nine at the moment and something I just didn't ever think I, I would ever be smart enough to even be considered for this. I pushed and pushed for 10 years guys, 10 years to get onto my nursing degree in the first place because I kept failing high school maths because I have dyscalculia because of my autism. So to get this far, I just I can't even put it into words. So what does this mean for my learning and my nursing journey in general? Strangely enough, even though I've been accepted and given my official offer to start as a master's student, I still can't believe I'm saying that, I will finish this year as a senior nursing student because the integrated master's is a combination of your undergraduate, which is my BM with honours, and then you do one year postgraduate. Instead of coming back later on down the line and doing a master's individually which would have been a two-year program and only in the specialization that you finished and graduated your original nursing degree at so if i was to come back and do a master's later down the line i would only be able to get a master's in adult nursing i will finish this year out as a senior nursing student finish this part of the degree but when everyone else graduates, I will then stay on for an extra year at the same university. And this is the other thing, I don't have to reapply. Yes, I had to have the interview and I had to make sure I had the right criteria, but I don't have to go through all the full university and nursing school application, which is quite a big thing to do. I'm not fully sure how that course itself runs. We haven't been given all the information just yet. They said they will let us know as time goes on. At this moment in time, I just know it's an extra year. Then I will be a master's graduate so i just i just cannot even tell you i just want to say thank you to everyone who is joining me on this crazy journey can't tell you how grateful i am for you i tell you all the time that i am grateful and i just don't think words can get it across enough but we are now on our way to the 500 mark which will unlock my community tab which is really big deal to me and then obviously after that it's the 1k mark which i am aiming and hoping to get to by my two-year anniversary in april of next year so april 23 if you haven't subscribed yet, please do go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any more content. I have a day in the life of a HCA slash CNA, whichever part of the world you're from. That's going up on Wednesday because I did a shift as a bank carer in the hospital yesterday. So I did a day in the life for you. There's a lot of clips of Lee on that as well. So if you've never met Lee yet, then uh, tune in for that video on Wednesday. Thank you for being here with me. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.